Now here the question is, show that the sequence under root 2, under root 2 root 2, under root 2 root 2 root 2 converges and find its limit. Now for this question, a1 is 2 to the power 1 by 2, a2 is 2 to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4, a3 is 2 to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 that is a n is 2 to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square up to 1 by 2 to the power of n. Now this power is nothing but a gp so we can write 2 to the power 1 by 2 1 minus 1 upon 2 to the power n upon 1 minus 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 will cancel so we will get this as 2 to the power 1 minus 1 upon 2 to the power n and it will always be less than 2. So we can write this a n it is greater than 0 but less than 2 that is the sequence is a bounded sequence. Now we will prove that the sequence is a monotonic sequence. Now we know that 2 to the power n it is less than 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 upon 2 to the power n it will be less than minus 1 upon 2 to the power of n plus 1 and we can write 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 upon 2 to the power n it will be less than 2 to the power 1 minus 1 upon 2 to the power of n plus 1 that means a n will be less than a n plus 1 that is the sequence is monotonic increasing sequence now since the sequence is bounded and monotonic then from monotone convergence theorem we can say that the sequence converges and we need to find its limit now we'll take this limit n tends to infinite if we take this limit n tends to infinite it will be an infinite gp then this value will be 2 to the power a upon 1 minus r and there will be simply 2 so this sequence it converges to 2 so its limit will be simply 2 now another method to solve the same question is using a recursive relation now here a1 is root 2 and a n plus 1 is root 2 into a n now in the first part we will prove that this sequence is a bounded sequence and our assertion is a n is less than 2 so that's your p n now we will prove the result for n equals 1 so we will write a1 and a1 is root 2 and root 2 is less than 2 that means it is true for n equals 1 now we will let p k be true it means that a k it will be less than 2 now we will multiply a k with 2 so we will write 2 a k it will be less than 4 then under root of 2 a k it will be less than 2 and root 2 a k it is nothing but a k plus 1 so from here we can say a k plus 1 is less than 2 that means p k plus 1 is true so from induction we can say that this a n is less than 2 or this a n is greater than 0 but less than 2 that is the sequence is a bounded sequence now for the second part we will prove that the sequence is monotone increasing sequence that is a n it will be less than a n plus 1 so that's your assertion p n we will prove this assertion for n equals 1 so for n equals 1 we will get a 1 and a 1 is root 2 which is less than under root of 2 root 2 which is a 2 that is a 1 is less than a 2 that means it is true for n equals 1 now for the second part we let let p k be true so if p k is true then a k will be less than a k plus 1 now we will multiply it with 2 and we will take under root sign so we write under root 2 a k will be less than under root 2 a k plus 1 now this is nothing but a k plus 1 and this is a k plus 2 so from here we can say p k plus 1 is true so from mathematical induction we can say that a n will be less than a n plus 1 
and that the sequence is monotonic increasing sequence now since we have proved that the sequence is bounded and monotonic then from monotone convergence theorem we can say that the sequence is a convergent sequence now we need to find its limit so using this recursive relation we'll take limit n tends to infinite and if the sequence converges to some limit l we can write l equals under root 2l that is the value of l is simply 2 so the sequence it converges to 2 so that's our second method of solving this question